Hey guys, Desol still quarantined in the Nerd Cave. This is day four of quarantine, and um, my Kino sale um, package just came in. So, um, what better time to uh, to open it up? So, um, let's just crack right into it. It's been a little while, so I can't really remember everything that I picked up. I know something is in here for Jimmy. And I think, and I got a couple of things as well. Let's, all right, here we go. And I'm feeling a little better today. Um, feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday. Hopefully I sound a little better uh, tomorrow, last day in the Nerd Cave. Um, I did watch a couple of movies last night, and I'm going to watch a bunch. Uh, I just finished Maniac. And I'm going to watch a couple uh, tonight as well. So I may do a video on what I watched during quarantine, which isn't as much as you would think. So there's some nice packaging here. And all right. Good amount of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So let's just put this all together. It's kind of thrown around. Okay, there's Jimmy's. All right, so first off, I'll just show you Jimmy's, um, Jim Carrey and Man on the Moon. Um, I did not get a copy of this, but that is his. Pretty good. I remember seeing this in the theater, and I've seen it a couple times since. Good movie. I should have probably picked it up. A lot of these are ones that have been kind of on my list for a while that I finally picked up. Some are new ones for me. First one up is a Tommy Lee Jones, Linda Hamilton movie. Linda Hamilton? Interesting, okay. And it's Black Moon Rising. This is one that I've had on the list for a while. Um, looked pretty good. For some reason, I've never picked it up. I've always kind of, whenever I'm weeding out my list, I always take this out. So, kept it on this time. Oh, let me show, I guess, a little bit about the movie. Here we go. Decent amount of special features. Here we go. Next one up is a um, John Candy film, Once Upon a Crime. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this one. Good amount of people on this. John Candy, James Belushi, Sybil Shepard, Sean Young, Richard Lewis, a ton of people. George Hamilton. You know a little bit about the film, if you want to pause that. And no special features on this one. I don't think these are going to stay. Next one up is another one that I keep throwing on there, and I take off. And I don't have a... Yeah, I do have a price list. Okay. So, Black Moon Rising was... nine forty nine. dollars Once Upon a Crime. I think they're all pretty much around... Between seven dollars and the most expensive one was fifteen ninety nine, so pretty decent deals. This one is an early Gene Wilder film, has Madeline Kahn, and it's a uh, Sherlock Holmes' uh, smarter brother. <laughs> so looks kind of silly, but I do like Gene Wilder. And I believe that one was $9.99, listed from $29.95. So big difference. Again, I don't trust those prices. Um, those are pretty much the prices that um, the MSRPs that they never really are at the end of the day. Next one up is another one. I'm going to keep saying this, um, that... I wanted for a while, um, and just never made it, never made it to the list. This is one I watched all the time as a kid. I always wanted to do this in the eighties. Space Camp. Um, Kate Capshaw, um, who is, as we know, um, Steven Spielberg's uh, wife, uh, Leah Thompson, Kelly Preston, um, Leaf Phoenix, which is, uh, as we know. Um, is Joaquin Phoenix. Is that how you spell it? Leaf? So 
So yeah, Space Camp. Here's a little bit about the film. Special features. Next one up is, I never heard about this. Never heard this one before. It looks like kind of like a stupid 80s comedy. It was like seven. This is the cheapest one, seven forty nine. dollars It's called Delivery Boys. So here's the uh, special features, a little bit about the film. I watched the trailer. It looked like a stupid, you know, 80s movie. I do like those. And I guess this is... Is this Kino? Oh, it's a Scorpion releasing. Okay, yeah. I always forget that you can order Scorpion releasing through Kino. I guess it's a... It's a... I guess they own them, I'm assuming. Here's a... And also Code Red. So I don't know. Let me know, guys. Is, are they all just the same company? I'm assuming so if you buy them through Kino. Um, but this is Code Red. So I have a Scorpion releasing... These are all Kino, and this is a Code Red of a Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. No Slip, I think it initially came out with a slip. Maybe, I just missed out on it. A little bit about the movie, special features. Watched the trailer on that one, looked pretty good. Next one up is another movie that I watched all the time as a kid. Um... I feel like it was either on HBO or it used to be just on regular TV. 1984 film. With a lot of people on this one too. Chris Penn, Leah Thompson, um, Eric Stoltz, Rick Moranis, Randy Quaid, uh, The Wildlife. It's Cameron, written by Cameron Crowe. So that's cool. So definitely um, excited to revisit this one. Can I fit that? Yep, here we go. And two more. And these come with slips. Um, first one up is a horror movie. And this is a Code Red release of uh, Trick or Treats with David Carradine. <clears throat> here's some of the extras. And here's a little bit about the film. Sorry again about my voice, guys. Um, comes and goes. It sounds like it's going right now. Here we go. And last one is, um, glad I waited for this one. Uh, this is one that had some disc issues. Uh, so they were, I think, pulled, um, from pre-order a while ago. And now they're, they're back in stock. And I'm assuming that the, the issue has been fixed. And this is a 4K release for $15.99, which I think is a great price. And it's Jean-Claude Van Damme in Hard Target. Believe it or not, I've never seen this. I know Jim is a huge uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme fan, so we will be watching this one. I know he already has a copy. Oh, there you go, Hard Target. So that's it, guys. That is um, the Kino sale pickups. Got a, got a decent amount. Let me know in the comments below. Did you uh, partake in the sale? Uh, what did you get? Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.